Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video series, we're deploying a Blazor static page to many different cloud services from different tools. Later in the series, we'll compare the different services and see which one is the best option for us. In this video, we're going to deploy our static site that we previously deployed from Visual Studio. Now we're going to deploy it from Git using the Azure connection. So let's get started. Uh, we basically have our GitHub with a uh, our code and we have our web application that we already created uh, previously and now we're gonna go to deployment center and here you can it basically makes it really easy to connect github or any other repo to uh, Azure so you can do continuous deployment this is assuming you already have the web application and everything. If we're going to do infrastructure as a code, I'll cover that in a video. So make sure you stay tuned. So now let's click GitHub and continue. I'm already signed in. If not, it would ask you to sign in. And we're going to use GitHub Actions. So in here, we just have to find our repo, which alphabetically happened to be the first one. And then we have to select our stack where this is the .NET Core we're gonna do summary and then basically we're just so what's gonna happen is it's gonna go to your github and it's gonna create a pull request uh, sorry it actually just commits to master creating kind of like this yaml file that basically if we go through it it basically makes it that every time you push to master it's gonna start this and you can change the triggers to be on that it's only on pull requests or something so uh, you can make it whatever you have so you might have like special builds for special things or special actions that might check for cred scan or something like that so it, it goes it checks out the code uh, it set, sets up .NET with the latest version and now it builds your code and then it publishes the application to this folder and then it deploys to Azure so basically it grabs the folder that you created before and it publishes it to uh, this application, which also it will go to your app secrets in GitHub Actions, and it will add the secrets to be able to publish here. So you basically don't even have to think about the passwords and everything. Everything is done for you. So we're just going to click Finish. And now you will have here the deployment. So you'll be able to see if any deployment, what's the status, what was the commit ID, what was the message. And stuff like that so if we go back here and we refresh again again maybe oh there we go and we can see that it, it created this uh, under the github workflows so this is the yaml file that would do it and now if we see in ac actions since it was a commit to master it actually triggered itself so we can go here and we can see now it's setting up the .NET Core and I'll just fast uh, probably cut the video to the end of it to see how it deployed. So as you can see the the workflow finished properly and it was able to deploy to the Azure web application and now we can go back here and we can see here that the deployment was actually successfully so if we go to the website, we should be able to see our application. And that's pretty cool. And now if we change something in our code and push to master, it will automatically start the pipeline and push everything. Uh, obviously, if it's production, you don't want to do that automatically. You want to have some checks, validations. But like you might want to push everything to test. And then from there, you might, if it approves, you send a new uh, action to send to production and so on and we will cover that more in detail in other videos so make sure you stay tuned thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one